I have a question for you. How well do you think you and your kids know Disney? Well, Disney is 100 years old, and to celebrate, National Geographic Kids has published Weird But True Disney. It's filled with history and trivia about all things Disney. Welcome to the Kids Bookshelf. I'm Dan Skinner. Ahead, we'll explore the book, and I'll talk with the editor about what readers will find here. I requested and was provided with a copy of the book, but this video is not sponsored. Arian Zutu is a senior editor for National Geographic Kids Books. She joins us to talk about another in the Weird But True series. This one is Weird But True Disney, 300 Wonderful Facts to Celebrate the Magic of Disney. Arianne, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for having me. Well, let's dig into this Weird But True Disney edition. You've got 300 weird but true facts about Disney. So what are some of your favorites? So I love animals. So some of my favorite facts are animal related. Um, if you like, I can share that. I can share with you. Um, so the manatees at the seas with Nemo and friends at Epcot eat more than 100 heads of lettuce a day. I thought that was great. As someone who used to live in Florida, I I think manatees are very adorable. Um, another one is Gino, a silverback gorilla at Disney's Animal Kingdom, celebrated his 41st birth birthday with a cake made of alfalfa, banana leaves, and sweet potato frosting. And we've got a lovely image of Gino in the book as well. Well, I found a lot of the trivia interesting as well. When I was a kid, my parents took me to Disneyland in California. And I remember riding the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. And there's a little bit of trivia in this book about how the ride almost didn't pass inspection because the Anaheim Fire Department thought the fire displays were too realistic. Yes, yes. I remember that fact. Um, yes, it's it, there's some things in here that are just just so delightful. And it's just like little pieces of trivia about the parks themselves or how they were created or um, what they were almost named or how they, you know, it, it's just, there's, there's something in here for, for everyone. It's, we've got information about the, about Disneyland, about Disney World, about parks around the world, um, things around the world that are inspired by, by Disney, by Disney things. It's, you know, it's just incredible how far reaching and beloved this brand is around the world. My conversation continues with Arian Zutu in just a moment, but first, here are some more bits of trivia from the book. For example, Bill Clinton was the first president to provide his voice for his audio animatronic figure in the Hall of Presidents at the Magic Kingdom. Did you know that Goofy's original name was Dippy Dog? The sorcerer in Fantasia is named Yin Sid, which is Disney spelled backward. And the spaceship Earth at Epcot weighs about 16 million pounds. Ariane, many people are fans of Disney, and they've experienced the Disney theme parks, they've watched the Disney movies, so they probably think they know a lot about Disney. Does the popularity of Disney make it more challenging to find things that people might not already know? Good question. You know, when we were putting this book together, it, we were trying to figure out, you know, where we wanted to go with these facts. Like, do we want, did we want them to be really in the weeds, you know, for those Disney super fans? Or did we want this to be, you know, because it's for ages 8 to 12 mainly, we were thinking that a lot of kids are Disney fans, but maybe they haven't seen everything yet. Maybe they haven't gotten super deep into the world of Disney um, so we were trying to keep it, you know, top level in some ways where it still sparks that delight and, and has that element of awe and wonder and makes you go, wait, what? But, but also, you know, you don't have to know every single thing about Disney to, to feel delight when you read these facts, um, if that makes sense. So, you know, when putting this book together, we, we did definitely want every fact to be something that sparks that wonder and and that sort of wait what reaction so um you know 
it it was, I guess, a bit of a challenge, but there's also so much content about about Disney and there's so much there's so much material. I mean, Disney's been around for such a long time that, you know, it really wasn't as hard as you might think to find surprising facts about Disney. And, you know, I will say too, as you know, part of the team that was putting this book together, there were so many times where you know, we were coming up with some of these facts and I was just blown away by how much incredible research went into these films, for example. I mean, the film creators, I've got to tip my hat to them. I mean, they 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 went so deep into the details to get every scene just right. Um, and I'll give you an example. And we have this fact in the book, to perfect wintry scenes in Frozen, the filmmakers actually met with a NASA scientist who's nicknamed Dr. Snow to learn how snowflakes form. And so, you know, if you can imagine, you know, those animators, there are so many snowflakes in Frozen and it's so clear that they wanted to get even the, pro they wanted to get everything just right, that they even went deep into the process of how snowflakes form. I mean, to me, that's just incredible. And we've got other facts like that in this book. You know, I also found it interesting to read about how the animators studied specific animals or observed the mannerisms of certain people to inspire their animations and create those iconic Disney characters. Absolutely. Yeah, there are so many facts like that in here, and I was blown away by that as well. I'm talking with Arian Zutu about Weird But True Disney. Can you share some more of your favorite facts from the book? Absolutely. I would be happy to. Um, let's see. Um, I, I, again, I love animals, so I apologize that I'm just giving you a bunch of animal facts, but, um, Disney, uh, nature filmmakers traveled across a glacier for 10 days to transport the sled mounted mobile camp they lived in while filming the documentary polar bear in 2022. Um, another fact that's not animal related, I'll branch out, is two actors who voiced Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse were married to each other in real life. Ah, oh, I did not know that. From theme parks to movies and so much more, what do you think that Disney has been able to capture people's imagination for 100 years now? That's a great question. I think, you know, I... I think it, my personal take is that I think Disney is sort of symbolic with magic and, you know, sort of being a mirror of the real world and, but reflecting back the best that our world has to offer. You know, I think in the Disney movies, for example, I think viewers go along on this ride and this roller coaster of, of emotions, you know, they feel the peril, they feel the ups, they feel the downs, and they they feel the elation too at the at the end when there's typically a happy ending. And you know, I think I think Disney films make us feel safe and secure, and with this faith that like things are going to turn out all right. And I think that's beautiful. Arian Zutu is a senior editor for National Geographic Kids Books. She joins us to talk about Weird But True Disney, 300 wonderful facts to celebrate the magic of Disney. Arianne, thank you for talking with me today. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. If you'd like to purchase a copy of Weird But True Disney, I placed a link for you in the description below. Well, thank you for watching this edition of the Kids Bookshelf. And if you'd like to see more videos about children's books and their authors, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell to be notified about future programs. I'm Dan Skinner. Until next time, keep sharing the gift of reading.